And then another piece of advice is that for those brothers who are not married, that abstain from your phones or have a phone which doesn't have these features. And also, even if you do possess such a phone, then those programs and those apps which you know are going to cause you problems, you should delete them. Not merely block them, but delete them. So maybe on WhatsApp, for example, if you know that there's a particular individual and he sends you certain messages which are not good, you can block that person. But you know that there are other apps which bring much uh, afflictions and calamities and fitna for a person, you delete them from your phone. And you, should, and you should be completely confident that whoever leaves something for the sake of Allah, Allah will give him that which is better than it. And also that a person makes dua. And also a person makes dua. And you say, Oh Allah, suffice me from that which you have made halal away from that which you have made haram. And oh Allah, suffice, oh Allah, uh, make my dependence and reliance upon you and do not leave me to my own self even for the blinking of an eye. And look at the example of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam and when he feared the plot of the women and how he sought refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much so he said, Oh my Lord, prison is more preferred to me than that which they call to. And this was Nabiullah Yusuf alayhi salam and he preferred to be imprisoned than to be taken by the plots and the seductions of those women.